Hi, this is Reginald from Base Week, and thanks for watching our videos again. Uh, I'm just really excited today uh, because I have probably just uh, seen the most beautiful base uh, ever. Um, this is actually from STR, Japan, um, possibly the top luthier in Japan. Um, and you can see it's a beautiful base. There's just tons of features here. Um, but maybe I'll just play a little bit. Just uh, hear a little bit and see how it sounds. <laughs> Amazing instrument. Um, so, so this this bass is actually um, uh, the DSC um, model, which is the single cut, um, and this is the top of the line uh, model from uh, SDR. Uh, so you can see there's some amazing uh, wood over here, and uh, this is actually Tamo ash. Um, you may think it's quilted maple, but it's actually not. Um, and uh, I actually had a privilege to, uh, you know, select and and discuss the woods with uh, SDR on this. So I'm just uh, very excited about what has come up. So um, at the back, you can see that um, these are actually flame mesh wings. So ash typically gives you a lot of bottoms, um, a bit of highs. But I wanted this space to have a bit more mid-range. And that is the reason why uh, you can see this extra line here, which is walnut. So I've added um, a walnut sandwich inside, uh, and also to you know further enhance the mid-range, um, this base actually has a neck through, uh, and the neck is actually wangy flame maple stringers. So the flame maples are quite amazing, uh, and also wangy fingerboard. So it gives you that nice attack, um, um, but yet you know still um, enough highs at the top. Uh, at the back, you can see that there's a volute here, and um, you can probably see more details from the pictures, but this is actually a flame maple volute, so everything is just um, very exquisite. At the front, um, wangy fingerboard, abalone inlays, matching headstock, and you have this gorgeous uh, SDR bird inlay as well. Um, for the electronics, uh, it's actually the SDR, uh, sorry, it's the Aguila OBP3 preamp. Um, you have a volume blend master tone and then you actually have the series and parallel for your humbuckers and the humbuckers are, are actually from North Strand so what I was playing just now uh, EQ is actually flat and these are actually the humbuckers in parallel sorry in series so you can hear that it's very full body so if I actually flip it to parallel, it has a nice <coughs> scoop sound compared to when in series. So series, parallel. So really depends what kind of sound you're looking for. And on uh, the preamp, you have bass, mid, treble, and uh, for the mid frequency, you can select as well. So this high mids, low mid. So you can hear that mid range definition. It's just gorgeous. Uh, the other thing about this bass is actually the string spacing. So 
I've actually spec this as uh, 18 mm spacing, so it's very nice and comfortable. Um, the neck is extremely fast. Uh, so, you know, instead of your regular 19 mm spacing, which sometimes for Asian hands you may find it's a little bit wide. So actually on 18 mm, it's very comfortable even to play on the, you know, um, on the B string and the lower frets and even doing all the string crosses like... So you know, like 18 mm spacing, very easy, very comfortable. Um, so if I uh, use the bridge pickup, you can hear that it's very growly. That you can get that jaco thing. So let me just boost a bit of the bass, boost a bit of the low mids, cut the highs a little bit. I can cut it a bit more. And if you want it a bit more growly, just bring up the mids a bit. Harmonics, amazing, it just rings. And then if I go to the neck pickup, let me just reset the EQ again. I'll just roll off the tone a bit. This. It has this uh, nice woolly P bass kind of tone. If I just cut a little bit of the high mids and just roll off some highs, very nice and full tone. Um, so you can hear that even on the higher strings. You know, the tone actually doesn't thin out. Um, sometimes some basses that you play, uh, the treble strings may actually feel thinner, but you know, on this bass, it just feels nice and full all the time. Uh, and partly I think it's because that this bass is actually chambered as well. So although it's single cut, um, but it's not exactly super heavy. It's uh, almost the same as your regular 5-string or even lighter than that. Um, but because it's chambered, so you have a more full body kind of tone. Uh, the attack is a little different. Um, I feel that the bass is more responsive as a result of the chambering. So if I do a, like a slap thing, I'll just bring up the treble a bit, bring up the bass. So you can hear the attack is pretty quick. I really like the sound of this, um, and 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 the highs are not too brittle. So if I bring it to parallel, just to give it that scoop tone. Let me bring up the volume here a bit. You know, so if you want that smoother sound. You can actually use it in parallel mode. So let me just put it back in series and I'll bring down the level again. So I can actually cut the high mids just to give it also some... Um, just 
just to give it a bit some uh, smoothness in the tone. B string is amazingly tight. So this um, is the STR DS C uh, five four nine. Um, it's an incredible bass, extremely well built, um, very balanced, no neck dive. Um, I think to me it's probably the dream bass, and um, um, so I hope that uh, you know this video has uh, given you a little bit more insight about this bass and um, the amazing instruments that they make. So if you're keen, uh, feel free to contact us. Come and try. We do have some other STRs around as well. Um, and get a feel for it and let the instrument speak for itself. So we hope to hear from you soon and thanks for watching the video. Bye.